Acme Insurance has a requirement to support high-intensity and critical VMware workloads within the IBM cloud. Acme's solution will include a deployment of vCenter server with vSAN as the underlying virtual machine storage. A subsequent deployment will include an order of vCenter server with NetApp on tap select. To access the IBM Cloud for VMware Solutions portal, we first navigate to the IBM Cloud dashboard and log in with an IBM ID. Once the page is loaded, you can access the VMware link within the menu on the upper left-hand corner of the screen. From within the ordering portal, you are able to view the solutions offered as well as the services that can be added during the ordering process or after the deployment. To deploy a VCS instance, we select the Order Instance button within the VMware vCenter server on IBM Cloud Tile. As part of the ordering process, you have the ability to add additional vCenter server instances to an existing deployment. This is useful for those wishing to utilize the same VMware SSO domain and leverage Enhanced Link Mode to view their entire VMware estate within the IBM Cloud. Since this is Acme's first instance within the IBM Cloud, we will select Primary. After selecting the type of deployment, the portal displays a list of options used to configure the VCS instance. This includes the instance name, domain name, as well as the subdomain and hostname prefix. While filling out these values, you'll notice the schematic getting populated with your configuration options. It's helpful to review these values in the schematic before proceeding to the hardware configuration. Once you've verified the first four fields are correct and the schematic shows the proper values, you can then select the bare metal configuration. It's important to note that this configuration applies to the first VMware cluster deployed in the IBM Cloud. If any subsequent VMware clusters are required, a different bare metal configuration can be selected during a separate ordering process. To proceed with vSAN storage, we must select the User Customize option and further choose the CPU model and RAM. Please note that if User Customized is not selected, NFS will be used as the virtual machine storage device. Next, we select the data center location. Since Acme requires a data center within the London area, we will select London 06 for this deployment. After the location is selected, we will choose vSAN as the virtual machine storage device. This selection causes the number of bare metal servers to increase from 3 to 4 in order to support vSAN high availability and fault tolerance. Finally, we will choose the size and number of the vSAN capacity disks. By default, vSAN is deployed with two SSD per server for cache. This selection determines the overall capacity of the deployed cluster. On the licensing screen, we will select whether to utilize the pay-as-you-go licensing model already included in the IBM Cloud or use licenses provided by Acme Insurance. Since Acme wishes to leverage a cloud-like licensing model, we will keep the default licensing in place. We will also select the base license for NSX and the enterprise license for vSAN in order to leverage encryption at rest capabilities. Once the licenses are selected, we can choose the additional services to include as part of the deployment. By default, Veeam is selected and configured to backup all management components within the VCS instance. If more licenses are needed, we can increase the number of licenses now or at a later time once the deployment is complete. The same is true for storage capacity. As part of this deployment for Acme, we will simply leave the default selections and continue to the summary screen. Now that we've completed the configuration for Acme's VCS instance with vSAN, we can review the order on the summary screen. On this screen, we will also be given an estimated cost for the order. Depending on Acme's pricing, this dollar value may or may not be representative of the actual cost. After we've reviewed the configuration, we can select Place Order to initiate the VCS deployment. When the deployment is complete, we will receive an email and be able to view the instance by navigating to the Deployed Instances screen within the portal.